Hello YouTubers and welcome back to the Scientist Raz channel and this is Raz speaking. What I'd like to do uh, today is go over some updates of uh, what I've been doing. Uh, I've been working on a few projects and I'd like for you guys to uh, take a look at some of these projects. By the way, you can comment uh, if you want and, uh, and I'll try to get back to you on the comments. Okay, so what I wanted to do was uh, not only have this machine pick in place uh, the SMD components but also to drill out the holes as well and to mill the uh, outline of the printed circuit boards out. So what I found was this, uh, I guess we call it a spindle motor, a little miniature spindle motor. And uh, I had to, it's got this uh, eccentric uh, shaft on that thing. So what I wanted to do was try to make a holder for it so I could put it in there. And I figured as long as I was going to do that, I would make some different holders too for uh, maybe uh, for a pencil and uh, for a uh, magic marker and things like that. And I'm glad I did because then I could start uh, having it do some writing and stuff to find out uh, what the resolution was on it and uh, how repeatable it was. And uh, I, I'm impressed. Uh, that's a dime right there. And uh, those fonts, those have two sides. They have an open space in between them. Can't really tell it here. Oh, there it is right here. And that's pretty good. It's kind of startling, in fact. So I'm, I'm really happy about the way this thing is turning out. It has a lot of capabilities. Then, uh, so I've built, I've built out those uh, brackets or holders or whatever. Need a little bit of a mess over here. Small, medium, and large. And uh, this thing did pretty good. Milled it right out. No problems. Okay, let's get back to work on this thing. Now, you're not going to get much done uh, unless you have these limit switches on here for the homing. Because if something happens, if you're running a program and something happens and loses steps or crashes or something, then you've lost your work because you're not going to be able to get the head back uh, where, where it was when the incident occurred. So you have to have these uh, limit switches, these home switches, in, in order to do re any real work with these things. So that's what I'm uh, wiring up now. And as I'm sure you know, if you're watching this video, that these limit switches, they go to one of these DB9 cables here. So, uh, uh, let me get, get to work putting these things on there. Also, as an aside, when you wire these micro switches up, these uh, home and limit switches, uh, you should wire them up as normally closed. And the reason for that is, is is if the wiring goes bad and you have the limit switch wired normally open you won't know it so the machine will crash and uh, you, you won't be aware that the switch w would have previously failed but if it's wired up normally closed and let's say during a run one of the wires comes loose or whatever then that'll stop the machine and you could address the problem then instead of not knowing about it if the, if the switch are wired normally open so these should be wired normally closed and if you have a stop switch, emergency stop switch, which you should have, make sure to wire that normally closed as well. And, and that way, when you go to hit it, it's going to work. Instead of you, you finding out too late that uh, uh, all of these problems, because it was wired normally open, it failed, you didn't know it, and now uh, something happened and it, you couldn't stop the machine. Now, now for this particular cable, the, uh, the green is the ground. And then the inputs are orange, red, brown, and black. And your cable may be different. Well, all right, we've got our limit switches 
hooked up and let's do a test and see if we uh, can home, home the machine. That's the Y. And that was the Z. Y. There's the X. Okay. Looking good. Okay. Now this is it after I applied some cable management to it. That was too many wires to look at. It looks much better now. Let me hold it just so it'll do something. Well, it looks much more professional.